What's up guys, my name is Parky and we are back with another premiere draft in Phyrexia All Will Be One. I haven't been able to do one on the stream yet. I've been able to do the sealed event in person at the LGS, but apart from that, I haven't been able to do too much. It's been a pretty busy week at work, so I'm pretty excited to be on this morning. For those who haven't checked out my channel, I've got a YouTube channel under the same handle. I've got videos on the set overview for each color. You guys can check those out as I took a little bit of a different spin compared to some other creators who tend to go through and pick out the top commons, top rares, top uncommons. I looked at it based on mana curve and it turned out pretty well. Why don't we get started on the draft and we can see what we pull. Gonna get recycled in here. Oh, never mind. Vron, okay. We also have a great uh, card in white in the sentry. But we're gonna want Vron and some tokens. The siphoner is good. Sentry's gonna be gone. The siphoner is gonna be gone. Maybe we can get the chorus back. I bet the free from flesh will be gone. Maybe the scamp might be gone. That's a good follow up. Kind of keeps us in colors. This, this, this set or this pack is very good. The gliders create the uh, Gladiator is very good with Vron. The charge is good. All of the green cards are good. The Axis is good. Actually, all of the blue cards are good too, so. There's a Siphoner. Let's cut black now for sure. Non-land permanents you control are artifacts in addition to their type. Those aren't good in Limited. Vraska's Fall is fine. I almost would, wouldn't even mind the Phyrexian Atlas. But this is instant speed. That's whenever a creature I control dies. I have a feeling I'm going to want to be white. Triple color here. That is a poison counter. And this is only for combat damage, so. Let's do the Atlas. Now we have an Edifice, which is awesome. The hex gold ho hover wings are awesome too. But let's and the plague nurse would be great too. Honestly, for this, maybe I'm wanting a plague nurse. That'll be able to kill a creature though. So let's keep cutting black. The paladin's fantastic. So our colors are looking open. So we started off with four uncommons or three uncommons and a rare all linked to black so and not just filler uncommons they're all very solid uncommons most of them have toxic we just have removal pseudo removal i suppose now we're just gonna need to pick up all the toxic creatures we can have fixing if we need. Rafiki no speaky. <laughs> A 
Talon Bear. Nice. Okay. Nice. Another Siphoner. Nothing else we'd want in this pack. So we're definitely leaning people towards like the red green oil and some crappy cards in white. And there we go. So we're locked in in black. That's insane at an eighth pick. Screw the Paladin. It's a great toxic creature, but I'll never probably play it. Those are cards that I'll never draw late, but I'll always get in my opening hand, and they'll just sit there. The Skull Bomb might be okay. Trample? The Proliferate wouldn't have been bad, like the Fetchland uh, Sorcery. But so far, this deck's looking really, really nice. You just gotta hope that your packs on the upcoming uh, round just have a little bit more synergy too, but it's gone fully around with every person, so we're about to see some cards that we've passed on. It's like a full charge. Or do I, do I, you know what, I'm just going to rare draft, I don't like rare drafting, but I'm not going to play the full charge. Let's just grab all these. Blue seems open too, but black is even more open. Mind Splice Apparatus isn't that bad. You can hold it up for flash. Maybe you can hold up a counter at the same time, so if they don't play anything, you're not losing out on the turn. In case we do end up in white, I'm going to now grab the Skull Bomb. And... Let's just do that. So we did open up a red rare. We do have another Necrogen Rob Priest. We're doing it. The Venomous Brutalizer is awesome too. The Anointed with Affliction should come around based on what happened last time. Having two of these though, it's really going to round out this deck. Each opponent sacrifices. I suppose it's got some early removal. We don't have much removal yet. The Gladiator is pretty weak and I feel like maybe that might come around. And if it doesn't, we'll pick up the Stalker. One of the two is fine. Even the Dune Mover I'd be happy with. Another Toxic Creature. Okay. Now we have a Ruthless. Oh, there we go. There's a rat. I do like the Infectious Inquiry, but the rat is too worth the value. Another Rot Priest. So we're locked in, I'd say. Three Rot Priest and a Plague Nurse now. Okay. This is, this is hilarious. This is awesome.
Couldn't ask for a better start, to be honest. We need, we've got three two drops, all with toxic, two with evasion. We could easily grab another plague nurse. Very happy with that. Our four drops are filled out. Honestly, the Vivis section is nice. The Prism's nice too. But the Plague Nurse is too on par with what we're doing. This is a good three drop. But so toxic. But I like the Plague Nurse a lot. Now we can get the three drop. And the rat comes around. How, how is the blister Zova still available? That's like one of the best uncommons in blue. Like everybody must be red and white. Cause I haven't seen any white this, this round. Yeah, it's a pretty bad rare. The Volt Charge came around. Okay. Proliferate. It's a very cheap proliferate option. We could grab it in case we need to splash a rare, but... Yeah, let's do that. The red is insanely open. I don't know. Probably should have just taken the uncommon. <laughs> okay. Could splash this. You know, I'm down to splashing the Azuri. Never tried it. Oh, there's a dual land. And another Hive Master. And we're set. So I got this in my sealed pool. This card is insane. We also have a Vorak available. Maybe it could table. Wouldn't mind the Raptor even, but I don't think we're going to get it. Honestly, we've got tons of options on the way back. We're going to get one of these. We could even get the Anointer. I'm fine with that. Actually, no, I'm not. I take that back. But the Bloated Contaminator is exactly the card we wanted. Wow, okay. We're not going to grab it because we're grabbing another rat. <laughs> we need removal now. We're set for creatures. We have everything that we want. No removal. That's not even bad. We've got a lot of ways to put through damage. Trample, toxic. But I think we're going to want to go with the haste. It's really aggressive plays. Uh, this brings back a creature. We'll give it a shot. I don't know how this card's going to do. I'm interested. Proliferate. We could do the Aspirin. We also have another rat. The Infectious Inquiry I might grab now, though. We could even... Not bad. Got three rats. The draw, though, is going to be really important. We don't have any draw apart from the Azuri.
Now we're going, oh, there's the feed the infection for more card draw. I want to go for another siphoner actually. Skitterfang's good, but we want as much toxic as possible out there. The mantle's not bad, but we do want removal, so maybe the canopy might be the way to go. This does help with trample damage. I'll try out the mantle. This gives early blockers. We don't even need blockers, to be honest. We're just going aggressive. Get a tap land down. There's Menace. It's going to be hard to pick what I want in this deck. I'm going to take the Uncommon because I don't want any of those. So let's, let's kind of sift through here. Let's just grab the... Sure. So lots of two drops. I did get the Aspirin back. We're not going to use it though. Sure. So really good draft. We didn't get anything crazy. But I really like our pool. Let's cut down. We don't need the Alice. We don't need the Azuri. Let's just go all out here. I suppose the Alice isn't bad though. Hmm. This is our only splash. We could keep the thirsting roots. Proliferates twice just by paying seven. So you could add on a couple extra toxic if I need to. It's got good synergy. I'm gonna try it with the Atlas. Actually, I'm not even going to use the Atlas. I've got a Thirsting Roots. I've got Card Draw. Let's go. Skull bomb's good. As far as four drops go, actually, yeah. Let's just let's keep this simple. Let's do that. Let's get rid of then the thirsting roots, and we're pretty aggressive. So let's drop down to. six green because we've got majority black no double of any color this is extremely aggressive and i think this is going to work out really well i could see seven wins pretty easily in bronze but Perfect start. That's fine. Let's get this guy going.
Now we just need to draw land. Yeah, let's try to get this land right off the bat, get some early damage in. There we go. Get the Rot Priest down. Do this. Let's attack with both because we can return either one next turn. Good, we get to proliferate. down go wide could have probably attacked first held up the death touch but next turn I can attack with all hold the death touch up on three creatures so Let's attack all. <laughs> Gonna be crazy aggro. I can return that creature back. Oh, not quite. Oh, yeah, we can. So let's attack again. I think that's game. Yeah, it is. Nice. If they killed the priest probably they would have been okay but good stuff let's uh move on to game two man i wish there was a play on uh jutaxis in this set Just one card to, cause he's in this war, is he not? Like, that's another good hand. Probably get the siphoner out first. Okay, now we're gonna wanna get the belly rat out. be dead in two turns. Let's 
Make sure that we hold up blocks to prevent them from going through with this. Actually, I'm going to kill the sinew first. So that can be quite annoying. They might go pretty aggressive here and remove the rat. If they have like the charges of mites or whatever. Oh no, that's uh, four mana. What do they have in three? I guess the plus two plus two for indestructible and the toxic one that draws a card. They have the lockdown enchantment. I think that's the only thing for two. For three? I can't remember either. Weird attack. Um, sure. All right. I am completely fine with tossing the mantle down next turn. And if they don't, I'll just draw a card. Prevent them from getting to three, because I know they'll have some corrupted in white. Less corrupted in green, but I don't want those flyers hitting me, pumping all their creatures up. That's going to be tough to beat. Force them to use something if they have it. Okay, now I want to... Let's put up a good blocker. Start doing some big damage myself. Yeah, we, we just want to prevent the lifelink from activating. Good. I can remove that. And I can remove that. Very aggressive, but I'm... What are you doing? Okay, now that I have the Necrogen, I suppose I still want to play this. This happens at instant speed, right? Yeah, it does. Let's go this, pay two life, kill their 1-1, one, one, or 3-1. Lay down. I know I should be doing this after combat, whatever. They can attack in. I'm gonna attack in for. Too toxic. Let's keep holding up enough, holding up enough blockers to deal with their mites. That's fine. I would block that. Let's kill their 4-4, four, four. let's take out their 1-1, one, one, and I guess give them lifelink. I don't want to clear my board out too much, they just have 1-1s one, down. Let's get this going. 
Now we're just going to want to beat them in toxic damage. Actually, yeah. They take five toxic. And let's hold up the edict. stuff we are on to game two or game three sorry just updating the stream honestly like I feel like this set is a little bit I would say two-dimensional like it's got some depth to it but it's not a lot of depth I the oil counters are only going to work if you have the specific cards. Proliferate doesn't really do much unless you're bought into either oil counters or, you know, toxic. It seems very, it's either you're going some sort of green, white, green, black, or you're going red blue that's that seems to be the only real options green red doesn't seem very useful blue green like i said before slow nice Sorry, buddy. Unless you have another removal spell. Nope. Do I have one? Though? I'm going to force the trade for them. So feeling that's one of their better creatures. I can bring that back with my five drop in black. Got some card draw. I like that. So let's get some card draw going. There we go. Uh, let us. Should have threatened probably with the toxic damage. Let's get that down. Just hold back. I gotta keep remembering to hold up and just attack through with the raw priest. I could have probably killed their creature. But the fact that we had two inquiries in our hand made me want to play it that much more. That's fine too if they don't have something else to play. They do have another. I have the anoint with affliction though. Three or less, three or less, good. So let's this time do a proper attack. Maybe they'll triple block. Good. Let's get rid of one. And a second. And that should be game. Should 
be basically out of things to do. That's pretty solid. I'd assume they'd attack through, yeah. It's okay, we'll have better blocks up next turn. Let's... I'm gonna have to hold up that block, to be honest. Let's just pop down our... I'm down to offer up the trade. And then we can... Let's get the stinging hive master out there. Pretty happy with that. So we've got a good block up for the atrocity. The scourge is going to do some damage. That's okay. That's going to suck. But again, the hive master can attack through. So they've got some good card quality. I do think these scourges are pretty good. Five toxic and twelve life, and they're back at twenty. Okay, so we're going to want to attack with the hive master. Fine if they want to trade the basilisk off. This allows me to save. Let's hold that up for a bit. They have another. Damn. You're going to proliferate again, I'm assuming. Keep pushing me closer. They could attack them with the Basilisk and I'd be fine, to be honest. It would suck, but... I'm assuming they'll attack in with their Flyer and the Basilisk. Considering they have the advantage. They, why wouldn't they attack with their Flyer? Maybe they're thinking of... Let's attack with R5-4. Oh, 
Hopefully give it double touch. Sorry, <clears throat> not double touch, death touch. They could easily just block with the Basilisk right now. I did not see that one coming. That's good, that gives us a little bit of health. Get a 1-1. One, one. Now we want to... We've got 5 mana up, so let's use that wisely. Want a siphoner and then inquiry. Now we got a full hand of plays. We've got to deal with that now. The blight belly rat will be good for that. That's gonna suck. Got two death touch creatures, three death touch creatures. I have to pay to have death touch. They should attack with the scourge one more turn before I can give it death touch. That's fine. It's a pain in the ass, but. Okay, so we want to. Start being a little bit more aggressive. I don't know why they're not attacked with their Scourge, but... That costs three. I want a good blocker for the Basilisk, so I'm definitely playing out this. Why don't we attack, threaten, toxic? Okay, let's do that. Let's attack. Threaten Toxic. Now let's throw this down and a good blocker. We can double block with the Rat and the Thane on the Basilisk. I'll even block the rat for rat. Or is that an insect? That's an insect. The Skull Dweller. Nice, okay, so we have a couple options here. Let's attack in the air, hold up, Toxic, again. Good. Let's just keep removing their creatures. Put down a good blocker. We've got lots of plays left. They're out of stuff to do. I'm assuming they're going to start drawing some lands soon, which would be nice. And that's not what they're doing. They've got their splash. So I'm assuming pretty good. Nope, never mind. That's a little annoying, though. They are splashing something, so I've got to keep that in mind. 
because I haven't seen anything for blue. Let's attack with the... Okay, we can threaten. Adding more toxic to whatever we attack with. Continue to attack with our cheapest creature. That seems like a really poor decision, and I screwed up. Nice. Let's... Ah, shit, why'd I do that? Oh, I guess I can hold up a better blocker next turn. So let's do that. If they don't attack, we're going to throw down a Shieldred's Edict. They've hit only six lands. They've hit seven. Have they discarded any? One. Or they've probably sacked it. That's... Okay, so they're at eight lands out of their 16, I'm assuming. Because they have a prism. Halfway through their deck, so they've got enough, half their cards are going to be lands, roughly. No, a, th a, a third of their cards are going to be lands. Let's get rid of their one of their creatures. Why the I get that it's not death touch, but it still is their best creature. Let's attack with our two worst creatures. We can threaten to give got eight mana. And this guy's just kind of calling it. So I can activate this, still play the Paladin. That's fine, so they'll trade. I can kill the long legs. Bring back the Hive Master. Oh no, I can bring back our uh, Bloated Contaminator. They get me one closer. A little menace. I'm gonna have to keep attacking now. Great attack, but honestly, the plague nurse is doing more. I'm just going to block that. Okay. 
now let's put so we're gonna have six up we can activate him and him or activate this draw card and activate one of them let's do that let's put it on our two toxic creature Attack through. It's going to put five, potentially six, seven, eight through. If I Plague Nurse, it would be nine, ten, eleven. So they have to block. So now their creature dies. Also, still do this. Seven, eight, nine, and I gain life. Jeez, there's a card. Holy crap, they can proliferate. But that's going to be game because we've got three death touch or three toxic creatures up. I haven't seen a Traxa played. I didn't think it would ever get played. Good for them. They have the perfect amount of mana for it too. I assume they're going to just proliferate at some point. They're going to have to block everything. I'm just going to Toss it all down. Let's let's draw. Yeah. Let's toss it all down. Tack all out. And that's fine because I'll just kill it. And I may as well even activate her too. It's close. They almost got me. If they grabbed two things that could proliferate and play them both, I would have lost. Pretty good. We're going to move on to game number three. We are 3 0. Game number four. My cat is rubbing against the mic now. Hope you enjoyed that. What do we got? Two drop, four mana up, removal. I don't mind that. Let's get the swamp out early. We've got tons of two drops, so we could draw another one. There's a better two drop to start off with. Honestly, I'm going to... Move that. My cat is... Totally in the way of the mic. She wants to rub up against the mic so bad. Now I gotta remove her. Being a little pest. Hopefully they don't they don't have too many flyers. That's fine. So let's get down our raw priest. Put them up to three.
I'm assuming attack with the Skull Dweller. Not with the rat? Neither. Okay. So let's get another... Blocker out. I'd be fine with tra trading up Plagners for a Skull Dweller. It's not going to matter if I hold up my blocker, but they're already at five. Got a lot of toxic on the board. What do they have? Nice. Okay. So nothing. We are up four. No. My cat is hungry. She is not wanting me to stream today. Come on, girl. What are you doing? And another good start, we'll start with the Skull Bomb down and then we'll put the Siphoner out. My wife is up. That's a good look for us. Definitely don't mind seeing that. Let's, to be honest, I'm not gonna block next turn, so let's just attack through and play the inquiry. And then, I must have hit control by accident. Or my cat is trying to get on my laptop again. Jeez, crazy shit. That's good for us to see. Nice slow play. Toka P. What are you doing? Let's get a blocker down. Wouldn't mind getting rid of that artifact. They're eventually gonna have a 3 1 first strike trample. So let's play out this guy. Yeah, let's just attack and double the amount of toxic. If they do block, I'll remove one of their creatures. Good.
Let's just get ourselves to five here. Meant to mute there. And let's put out a decent blocker. I suppose draw a card. Probably better to get some toxic out there first. Attack again if they'd like, that's fine again. Perfect. That should be game. Pull this up in case they have something to pump it up. Locker up. And that's pretty good, but it's gonna be the game. So we are now Five and one. Five and oh, sorry. With the occult, it's I don't see how anyone can beat the triple raw priest. I'll always have it. I've got like five, two drops that have toxic. And then decent removal. One more anointed would have been good. But here we go, round six. Moving up pretty quickly with all this. Starting off with the tap land is great. Got a lot of removal. Got our worst removal right off the bat. And we'll just hold that up. Nice. So there's no two mana flash, is there? No. They follow up with one of their own. I could exile it, but I'm going to hold up. I can actually attack in. Make it a 5-4. Then I can kill that next turn. It 
that's all right. Now I'm actually just going to want to put a blocker up. This guy tried to double block. So I can make them sacrifice their only creature. And I've got good blocks up against everything else. That's good too. Now I can exile this if I can attack through. sucks but I'm going to want to probably play out this and the edict I should have exiled that, but that's okay. And I can kill that next turn, so let's... No, that's a oh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Oops. Alright, so let's... Play this down, kill their flyer. I should have threatened toxic damage. Well, this is what you get when you start a new set. Let's hold back for a turn. That's a little annoying. They would have had worse blocks, actually no blocks. But we've got pretty good value, so I think we'll be okay. That's gonna help us get three, and then I can remove something of theirs. Don't want to lose my one one. Okay, let's. Force them to block with a bigger creature. Actually, let's attack with both. No, too risky. Let's attack with the bigger creature. Kill it. Proliferate. Play down the siphoner. And then after this game, give my cat some food because it's starving. She's starving. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. We just had the button trainer. Worth it, though. So let's attack with the might. And the flyer. It's fine, I guess. Yeah. Zach can hear her pushing the button, but she's not putting her full weight down on it yet. That's funny. Huh? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. That's kind of the point. Oh. I know. It's I'm I'm getting better at this slowly. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Jeez. Okay, so let's go. Boom. That. their board out. I really hope that doesn't mean that they have a board wipe on them, but another proliferate. Jeez. Alright. That's not good. But what we can do... So, okay, we've got five, six, seven mana up. Attack one. If I... Put through, if I use the nurse, pump it to give it three, that would put me at uh, four mana left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw, see what we can get. That puts me to four. We'll use up any death touch that I need to use. There, that's pretty good. Can't use it this turn though. Wait, if I attack for... This forces them to block. I'm fine with that. I am at 8, but I can proliferate. Or, sorry, I can... What do I want to do? So they have to place something here. That's unfortunate. That's a great card to get, though. So, what do we want? The Blight Belly? Probably the Blight Belly. We attack with, they have to block. Okay, let's just attack with the siphoner again. Oh, then I'll play the inquiry and then they lose. Nice. All right, we are heading into our last game. And before I do that, I'm going to make sure my cat is fed because she's crying and hammering a button right now. Not that I have to tell you because you've been hearing it this whole time. 
but give me two seconds and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's head into the last game, hopefully. Let's just beat them and then it's our last game. And uh, the triple rot priest seems to have cracked the code. Doubt I'll ever get a, a deck like this, but I'm running the cult. The cult is full on here. Too many priests to handle. If you ever saw three priests walking down the street towards you, I think you'd run. This is a gang of priests. The only thing scarier would be if there were like three Tom Cruises walking towards you, trying to convince you to join his Scientology. Good hand again. Get that siphoner out there and love to see the red because you know that they're not going to have anything to deal with the siphoner right off the bat unless it's that one mana deal two damage and it's not and they don't have reach and let's attack in and inquiry Good stuff. They're already a quarter way to death. That's not gonna do anything. Sorry, bud. Buddy old pal. Let's get the priest out there. Put him up to four already. RIP, if they don't do anything, I'll anoint their creature. They'll be up to three, five, they'll be at nine. Almost a turn four win on poison counters. Oh, and we're playing somebody in gold. Look at that, giving us a little challenge. Got a cool little uh, little buddy over here, actually. I like that. I like my fish better. Got to give my fish a name, though. I don't know what to call my fish. Magikarp? All my cats are named after Pokemon, so I think, I think that's pretty fitting. My, my pet in the game is also a Pokemon. You gotta ask me what my pet's names are though, so you can find out what what Pokemon they are. I'll keep that a secret until someone asks me. Oh no, it's a 4-3. Wow. And <laughs> that's actually gross. Just gonna throw that on there. <laughs> and deal four damage in the air, or four toxic counters in the air. Play down a three, two to seal the deal. Even if they kill the siphoner, it comes back. But that has to be game. That poor soul. You know what I should sign up is that 17 lands thing. I think this deck would have really, uh, really popped off. Cool to see. I, I'll just count my own trophies. Oh no, he's attacking me for five. Ouch. Sorry, that came off cocky. I'm just feeling high and mighty because I got a really good deck and um, I feel sorry for this guy because it's kind of, kind of broken. The Toxic is definitely broken. 
in general. Like I feel like in Kaldheim that was proven anyways, but this just makes it even more so. Just give our other creature trample. have to block my flyer but now they also have to block both of my other creatures And that's seven and zero. Oh. We did it. We made it. Got to the finals. And uh, you know, normally when red is aggressive, it does well, but it doesn't seem to be doing so well in these kind of mid-rangey red decks. Especially not against when your health starts at 10. So, let's go check out what we had. Couldn't have asked for really a better pull for this sort of deck. Obviously, insane. Three of these. And then, I mean, six. Two drops with it, too. And then just our, our rare, just helping out us stay alive while we're doing all this madness. And don't forget this guy that I only got to play once and then he died and he never got to attack. Honestly, it was the exact same way my seal draft went. I got to my last game and I just... Honestly, I played it down just for fun even though the game was already over and that was basically it. But Fun times. Uh, that's going to be it. We'll claim our prize. Uh, thanks for joining along. If you guys want to check out my typical streams, they're Monday nights at 9.30 p.m. And you guys can check out my YouTube under the same handle. I'll be posting um, some more videos like this to my YouTube. We'll be going through a bunch of drafting. The Arena Open's coming up this weekend. And then we also have, I believe it's this weekend, the sealed one. They always do sealed right off the bat. So pretty excited for that. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao guys.